It's today's R&B and throwbacks. Mike Kiss 1031. Mel's on the MIC jamming on the J-O-B with you. And I got a whole platoon up in my studio right now. <laughs> I got yeah. a bu- bunch of very special guests in the building on this National Read a Book Day. And it's only right that uh, I bring a, a, a great author who uh, has written a great series of books uh, called Camouflage Sisters. Also, Behind the Ranks, Volume 1 and 2. It's great to have Lila Holly in the studio with me right now. How are you today? I'm doing great, Mel. Come on, get closer to the mic. You I'm get closer doing to- great. So glad to be here. No doubt. Yes. And, and exciting to have you here because uh, uh, I've been noticing uh, you and your crew. Uh, now, let me go ahead and say who else is in the studio with us. I got Lila in here. I got Letitia Wilson in here. And I got Kathy Grant in here. And I also got Ashley Knight. Uh, we all in the building. And uh, we're here to talk about your book series, Camouflage Sisters. Uh, yes. Now, uh, what I found interesting is uh, this is about uh, a story. These are the stories of women in the military. And these and these stories are, are mostly people don't get to hear about a woman's point of view in the military. Uh, so tell the people uh, about Camouflage Sisters and how you got started with that. Great. Yes, you you hit it on the nail. It is it's a nonfiction series, which means these are true life stories of mm-hmm. women who served in the military, mm-hmm. and we have a couple of spouses who share their stories as well. Okay. And so you're right; these stories don't always get told. Um, I always tell people that the story of the woman who served is layered, mm-hmm. and you always hear the same sad story over and over again. These stories are stories of victory. Mm-hmm. Despite challenges that we faced, and so these ladies tell stories of surviving different situations in their lives and their careers, but they tell you this the journey back to healing. Mm-hmm. And so that's the main objective of Camouflage Sisters to let our sisters in arms know that they are not alone in their struggle, that they can make it through. And here's how we did it. And here's a message of hope for you. No doubt. And uh, how long did you serve in the military? If you don't mind me asking. 22 years in the Army. 22. Active, active duty. Yes. All right. How about you, Leti- uh, Letitia? I did 17 years. 17 years. Uh, Kathy? 21 years retired. Okay. 21 years retired. And Ashley? 10 years. Oh yeah, <laughs> ten years. <laughs> <In> three months. <laughs> like, like that's when you know you was in the military for real. You, you got it down to the second. <laughs> yeah. So, so what inspired you to write this series, though? What, 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 what was the motivating factor to get the ball rolling on this series? Well, for for me personally, after twenty two years of serving, and these ladies can attest, when you transition from the military mm-hmm. and that being so much of your life and your identity, it was challenging to say the least Mm -hmm. very emotional process and for me i started journaling to get those emotions out to find the words to share with my family Mm -hmm. to help me move through that tough period in my life and as a result of that i was i've i pinned self i've self-published a book called battle buddy Mm -hmm. which talks about that journey and the objective of that book was to help other veterans move through that transition process and understand that those emotions are normal and you know but in the process of doing that, I, I started asking questions of my sisters in arms. And I was like, I can't be the only one who struggled like this. I can't be the only one who felt like this. And I wasn't. Right. Thank God. You know, right, I, right. It, It's a normal part of the process of leaving the military. But in the process of asking those questions, I realized these ladies had some amazing stories. Mm-hmm. And where were the books f- that captured their stories? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so that's how Camouflage Sisters came about. I wanted to create something that value the voices of women who served while honoring their service because a lot of times and you know in this military town we live in right on veterans day we all go out to eat and all the men get thank you for your service thank you for your service but a lot of times right how many y'all shaking your heads they look over us and they're like Oh, you you served too, and we're like, yeah, I, th- I served too. <laughs> yeah. I served twenty two years. You know? <laughs> I that, served longer than him. Yeah, no, exactly. Tell right. Him thank you for right. And so a lot, a lot of us feel like that, and so yeah. you know, I, I rank and, him too. <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, we I, I wanted to create something like I said that valued our voices while honoring our service in a place that tells our story in the most honorable manner. Right, because a lot of the stories that we normally hear about women in the military is negative. Yes. Uh, uh, either dealing with something uh, of a sexual nature or a violent nature or something like that. Uh, but but uh, this is, I think, what, what makes this series so great is the fact that it's more about the positive energy yes. and, and what you've learned in the military and stuff like that. Absolutely. Okay. You said it. No doubt. Uh, how about Behind the Rank? Now this, is a, now, this is the most recent series you got started on. Yes. 
Okay, tell us a little bit about that one. <clears throat> and so Behind the Rank is a subset of Camouflage Sisters, the brand. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create a platform similar to like Chicken Soup for the Soul. Gotcha. And that's what I always tell people. It's a book full of inspirational stories really written for the next generation of women leaders coming behind us. To let them know that there's nothing new under the sun that you're going to experience. Mm -hmm. Here's probably something that you will experience. These ladies talks about, talk about everything from toxic leadership environments, deploying as a mother, mm -hmm. surviving through domestic violence while serving in uniform, and different life, you know, life experiences that play into shaping you as a woman. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so the ladies share those experiences while leaving... It, while sharing their lessons learned through those experiences and then leaving the reader with a message of hope at the end of their chapter. Understood. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. So let's talk to some of the ladies that you have in here. Uh, let's start with Letitia. You're the closest one to the mic. Uh, okay. uh, so tell us, uh, you served, uh, once again, how long did you serve again? I served 17 years. 17 years. What was your MOS, if you don't mind me asking? My MOS, uh, I did several. I did civil affairs specialist. I was food service specialist, and mm -hmm. I also did recruiting. So. Okay, okay, so you did it all. You yeah. did a lot of stuff. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. so what what's your contribution to, to which book are you in? As I'm far in as behind your... the rank, volume two. Okay, and so my chapter is dealing about battle scars on on your journey to you know your greater. Your greater will be mm -hmm. better than your beginning, mm -hmm. and so it kind of just talks about the different aspects of the leadership and being a woman in a male dominated field, especially in recruiting. Mm -hmm. And how it was always a target. Me, I was that go-getter. And I'm going to go to the top. I don't care who is in the way. I'm going there. And not everybody was appreciative of that. And so you had a lot of people just coming for you. They didn't want you to have that. Mm -hmm. And so despite all of those challenges, I come from a more spiritual aspect of saying that what God has for you is for you. Right. It don't matter what anybody else says, what they do. If God got it for you and you're doing the right things, it's going to come to you. Absolutely. You just have to do what's right and you have to persevere through it. You can't stop. And I was, as I was writing it, I always think about the storms we go through. I, I think about when I'm riding down the street and you in a storm, how people pull off to the side of the road. They mm -hmm. always want to stop. When if you just keep going probably a half a mile up, even a mile up, right. it's clear. It's right. sunny. And so that that was my inspiration about that ladder. Yeah, I was in a storm, but if I keep moving forward, there's the sun shining. And the sun did shine. I got to retire many of those people who were negative towards me. Mm -hmm. One of the questions I was asked when I was going through some of the things, what do you want to happen to them? I said, absolutely nothing. All I want is my name vindicated. I don't care about them getting punished or whatever well this is what i don't care about that i'm not here for vengeance or animosity i just want what's due me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that was it and because of that mindset god blessed me and you know a lot of them did have things happen but i didn't care right that was not my motivation and as a result i got to retire with full benefits uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> and i've gotten a great job i uh, have my husband we're adopting two beautiful children i've started my own business i've written a book there you and go so i'm winning yes i'm winning so you know that's my testament just keep going and don't give up you know you get some scars along the way but when you look back on them scars they're beautiful because they taught you something and they have something to allow you to share to somebody else because i believe we overcome by our testimonies you know mm -hmm. the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony so if you don't go through anything you're not going to have a testimony right and so that was i feel that I, now I definitely feel that the law is still working on me though. i want some vengeance <laughs> on some people me I, I need the law to work on me so for a little while just a little bit while longer lord work with me work with me all right ashley you're up next you got the uh, you're closest to the microphone uh let me move these mics over here you can, you can pull it over there pull it over there pull it over there see pull it over there see ashley knight <laughs> What's Ashley going Knight, what's on? going on? A decade of service. What was your MOS? I'm 92 Yankee Supplies Oops. for the victory. Oh, y'all my favorite. Y'all my favorite. I love y'all. I love y'all. I used to always be in y'all y'all platoon tent. What y'all got? <laughs> what Close came in? Close the gates. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us. So what? what which uh, which portion of the uh, which part of the series are you involved in? I'm in Behind the Rank Volume One. Volume One. Okay. And and tell us about your your testimony and your story real quick. I spoke on the approved leadership, and for me, I, it was very important when Lila asked me to join the Kemflon Sisters and, and write within that book. I really was passionate about you know being that standard leader, and I felt like I was fighting against the standard that was already written. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have a standard in the military. It's already written. It's already established. But I felt like 
the military wasn't moving in the way according to what was already written and i continued to fight that battle so through camouflage sisters that's what i i spoke about i spoke about being at approved leadership model and not to talk about you know being less than or greater than just to be the standard period and to represent a standard period because some people don't understand that even though you want to just be you mm -hmm. a representation of something is a representation of something period right that's what you should be and so that's what i, I spoke on because in any aspect of our lives we are in a representation of something and in the military nco soldiers anything we are representation of that standard of being a, a united force and that's what we needed to represent so i thought it was important for me to speak on that because military was good to me yes I served 10 years, but my testimony with, with Lila is I got her first book, Battle Buddy, because for me, I'm supposed to be Sergeant Major Booker somewhere. And it was hard for me to transition out because my career wasn't finished. Right. But my personal um, situations and circumstances, that's where I was going to have to go. I was going to have to transition out. And her book saved my life, that Battle Buddy book. And now, like you said, we came in here as a platoon. We have our new platoon. And to understand for others to understand that that standard of leadership was important. It was why I wanted to write that chapter in that book. No doubt. No doubt. And uh, and, and go ahead and plug you and, and your husband's uh, uh, Facebook thing that y'all be doing. Y'all marriage Mondays. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and plug. I'm going to let you go ahead and plug that. Even though I got some issues with your husband right now. I need to have a word. <laughs> sit down and have a word with him. I don't have nothing to do and, uh, with I'll, that. I'll now. talk to him soon. But uh, go ahead and plug that real quick. Yes. Yes. So my... I just recently was married with my husband, Kevin Knight, and we just celebrated our one year anniversary, August 26th. But this is my whoop, whoop, this is my second marriage. And, and um, God has really blessed me with a man of God. And through that, my husband got a vision to um, write. I mean, to do a podcast or we do an online Facebook live or video stream of marriage Mondays. And what it is based around is to really go through that walk of marriage together mm -hmm. and to walk that that line of marriage together and to speak about the hard things, the, the, the funny things, the great things, but to walk that thing together because divorce is just so, so sick. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a easy out concept that everybody wants to just jump into. And we feel like it's more important for us to, Go through this thing in the limelight of everyone together, better together, all of us as one team cash um, is what we call it, call ourselves. We are a body of one and it takes a village to raise a child and it takes a, a united force to to be married and stay married 20, 20 some years with with Lila. And how many years for you? 17, 17 years and. Just that nine. Nine it's years, but it don't matter. Those are my oh, motivation. You, you but, a baby. But, you a baby to this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my motivation. So for us, it was very important to have a show that shows that, hey, even though we barely marry, the struggle is real, but we <laughs> are trusting in God because he is the center of our faith and he's the center of our marriage and he's the center and circumference of everything that we become, speak on, or represent and we wanted to share that with others because a lot of people have the same struggles, but they face it alone or they try not to talk about it. We always talk about that expectation that we have coming in. Me and my husband had all kind of expectation, but we didn't speak on those things. So Marriage Mondays helps us and everyone else to speak on the things that really keep you from actually having a great marriage. All right. There you go. And I, I don't have a real issue with your husband. I, you know I love your husband. I know. Yeah, he's a good dude. Grew yeah. up that's, that's my guy. I just, I'm just i just messing with him. That's my guy. All right, Kathy. So, Kathy, let's talk to Kathy real quick. Uh, come on, Kathy. Let me get that. You came, why did you come up here so fancy? Where your t-shirt at? I have another engagement to go to. Oh, okay. Today. You got another engagement. All right. So, Kathy, uh, tell us about your, your service, your time in service. Uh, my time in service, I served as a 92 Yankee. Uh-huh. And my story is domestic violence while serving in the military. Okay, and which and which book are you in? I'm in volume one. Okay, behind the rank, volume, volume one. one. Okay, all right. Um, I served 21 years in the military. Uh -huh. and it was a struggle mm -hmm. to, to be a leader and to know that you're being physically abused yourself, mm -hmm. but still putting on a united front right, right. that I'm the strong person. And sometimes we have to step back and let others into our circle mm -hmm. but camouflaging it and going to work when i didn't want to go to work right but being the soldier i had to be i couldn't step back from my leadership role okay so 
So, so, uh, and and that had to be tough. I mean, I mean, and and that, and but that's also a story that we also hear a lot frequently about women in the military. About, uh, I mean, you, I mean, you had to go stand in front of troops every yes. day, yes. and 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 act like nothing was wrong. Mm-hmm. And all the time, it was something that you know I was being abused. Mm-hmm. But the true deliverance was Christ came into my life and allowed me to be delivered from domestic violence. So. That's the true deliverance for me. No doubt. No doubt. Yes. I feel that. I feel that most definitely. So, uh, Camouflage Sisters. Yeah, it's, it's the movement, I yeah. guess. It's, it's, yes. really, yes. it's, it's yes. not even a book. It's not even a book at this point. It's, yes. it's become a full-blown movement. Yes. Uh, 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 Lila, let me get you back on the mic real quick. Uh, uh, because I, I, one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, and make sure you plug is uh, your website and also uh, where folks can pick up copies of the book at. Uh, so, uh, Lila Holly. Dot com is that the website still um no okay we, we're changing up but well, that is still a website if they want to get me specifically but camouflage sisters.org okay. is we just changed it to a dot org site because just like you said it has turned and literally turned into a movement mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so we are uh, transitioning into an organization <clears throat> with memberships and board of directors and all of that <laughs> people to hold me accountable to the mission that's right <laughs> and so um yeah, yeah it's all good and i and and i'm i'm just so grateful that so many women find this platform of use and mm-hmm. of value and have flocked to it as a as a source of comfort okay so where, um, where can so, folks pick up uh, copies of the book uh each one is out right now camouflage yes, sisters each one is out uh yeah. where can you pick up copies at? all four of the books are available online amazon.com in a Kindle, a paper copy, and vi- in our first book, Camouflage Sisters Revealing Struggles of the Black Woman's Story is available on audio. That's our first audio book available. So if people are interested in audio and they want that, they can get that. And we're working to get the other ones done as well. But all four books are available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so let me give you the titles real quick. Camouflage Sisters, Revealing Struggles of the Black Woman's Military Experience. Uh, that's uh, part one. Then you got Camouflage Sisters, Silent No More. Uh, and it features uh, part one, fe- uh, book one features 13 Courageous Sisters in Arms. You got 11 in uh, book two. And then you got the Behind the Rank series, which is uh, just kicked off. Volume one and volume two. They're all in stores right now. And uh, you can get them at Amazon.com. Also, CamoufflageSisters.org. Yes. That's where they can pick Pick up copies of this book, uh, and, and and once again, we encourage you to go. Uh, even fellas, you got to read this book. Yes. I mean, fellas, you definitely, de- definitely, you should read this book, uh, especially if you're a man in the military yeah. and you have a leadership position. Absolutely. Would that was that something you would recommend? Absolutely, and you hit it right on the nail. A lot of men read the book, and a lot of them have a lot more respect for women that they're serving with. They better understand the struggle. Because a lot of times when you work working with women, you just see them moving mm-hmm. and doing what they do. Because that's what we do. Right. We just do it and make it happen. But they don't understand like the day to day. That's why Behind the Ring Volume One series is so important because it talks about that day to day conversations that we have to endure, the day to day struggles that we have to fight through. Like just being a part of the team. That's all a lot of women just want. Right. They want to be a value member of the team. And so a lot of a lot of, when men read these books, they're like, oh, now I get it. Now I understand. Mm-hmm. And so you're absolutely right. It is a it is a great series for males, especially men serving in the military and leadership positions to read. No doubt. Yeah. And uh, if women want and, and if the ladies want to become get in on the movement, how yes. can they get in on the movement? If yes. They want to become a part of the movement, well, not just share their stories, but, but right, they want to wear a T-shirt, too, and yeah. be a part of the movement. I mean, <laughs> hell, I want, I want to wear a T-shirt. No, no, let's go. But what? Uh, what but how can they be a part? Absolutely. If they go to camouflagesisters.org mm-hmm. online, they can submit their information, uh, be added to our email list, and just stay on track with what we're doing. In addition to the book projects, we are doing a lot more live events. We have several events coming up, and um, they can connect with us. We're we're out and about and doing a lot of great things. So we want to meet with them, and we want them to be a part of our sisterhood. I admire this movement because I think it's something that, as someone who has served, I didn't hear about a lot of the stories with women in the military. Yeah. So uh, I think this is a great movement. That's why I asked you to be on here. That's why that's why I'm giving you the platform and uh, definitely going to put you out there and help you guys out so you can uh, some more sisters can get involved in uh, what you guys got going on because I think this is great, and I think this is needed. Uh, we need to hear the stories of, of our sisters in arms uh, because it, far too many times, like you said earlier, we 
we forget that. We forget that women serve too, okay? Mm-hmm. And they're, they're part too. So thank a woman service member while you see them. Don't just discount them just because they're with a the guy. Because I'm quite sure that's what it happens, right? Yes. When you're with the man and they be like, thank you for your service, sir. Well, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> I can I get a thank you? Can uh, I get my discount? Exactly. <laughs> we like discounts over here. Yeah. I want my discount too. Everywhere we go, we asking for it. Y'all got a military discount over here. We all served, all of us. They hate to see us coming. Uh, <laughs> all of y'all? Yes, all oh, of us. Lord, let me take 10% off everything. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for giving, taking some time out of y'all day to come sit down and talk to me about this. Uh, I admire this movement congratulations on, on all the success with the movement i mean best uh, best of luck to all of you ladies and your future endeavors uh with camouflage sisters and everything that you got going on once again camouflage sisters.org is the website go there now go check it out and get you a copy one of the many there's four books four books right is there a fifth one in the works Two. It's two more in the wow. worst. Yeah, and the next six months we'll have two more books out. Wow. So y'all getting busy. But, yeah. I, but, but I'm assuming you're getting more and more stories and yes, more and more people yes, coming in. Yes. All yes. right. So this yes. is going to be fantastic, man. Looking yeah. forward to the growth of the Camouflage Sisters movement. Get with it now. You got any social media you do with that or it's just yes. strictly the website? No, we got okay. social media. Plug we that. Plug that. We doing Facebook Live right now from our website, <laughs> from our Facebook page. So, uh, uh, Camouflage Sisters LLC is our Facebook page. We're also on Instagram at, at Camouflage Sisters. But connect with us. Definitely, if you are a woman who served and you are, it, it, especially if you're going through transition, don't do it alone. Don't go through it alone. Connect with us. We are here. We are a true sisterhood. And we're going to wrap our arms around you and just love on you and, and walk you through whatever challenge you're facing in life. So, no doubt. Thank you so much, Mel, for having us. Oh, no doubt. Thank you guys you know, for coming. We love you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love I appreciate that voice, it. and we appreciate everything you do for our community. No doubt. I, I thank you for those kind words. And thank you guys once again for taking some time out of your day to come see me. Camouflage Sisters in stores now. Go join the movement on Facebook and all the social media platforms. And uh, and uh, we'll be checking for you guys in the near future, all right? Thank you. No doubt. Thank you guys for coming through.